I'm Jean-Pierre Saint-Maurice. I'm uh, here at the University of Saskatchewan. I've been here for two years as a Canadian Research Chair. And uh, it's a chair in the environmental sciences and I study the upper atmosphere and the aurora borealis. I like to compare what I'm doing to maybe the study of a little coffee cup that I would stir and then pour cream in it and then I look at all the swirls in it. That's what the aurora reminds me of. And studying it in that context is a little crazy and I think I'm a little crazy. <laughs> I'm involved on uh, three different projects, if you like. The, the, the big satellite project is to try to study how the aurora suddenly explodes around midnight, you know, in the night side, as we like to call it. We call these things substorms. You know, things are kind of nice, and there's a nice little auroral arc that goes and moves south, and then all of a sudden the whole sky explodes, a bit like some of the pictures you might have seen on this uh, thing in there where you, know, you see discrete little auroral forms, as we call them, and all of a sudden the whole sky explodes. So they're trying to find the timing of events that triggers this explosion in the night sky because this is what releases a lot of what we call the auroral energy or the energy that's accumulated when the solar wind has been pushing its way over the polar cap for a while. The second project I very much am looking forward to get involved with is a satellite called EPUP that should be launched next year. This satellite is going to look at things a little more close up. It's going to be ideal to tell us about, you know, here's the currents, here's the electric fields, and here's what the particles are doing. And that's what I like to understand, the real nitty-gritty. And uh, finally, when I got the chair here, I also got a CFI, Canadian Foundation for Innovation funding, to build a radar. And we build a radar. It's better than a lot of other radars of the same kind, if not the best, of course. But, um, so we're going to learn a great deal about what goes on in that, re that very key region called the polar cap, where the solar wind is pushing stuff away from the sun. We're going to have a beautiful view of what goes on over the polar cap. Already we're excited about you know, starting to write papers. I'm one of those physicists, a little boy that started to ask questions and never stopped.